This is the most advanced quantum computing chip in the world. Microsoft has achieved the breakthrough the world has been waiting for. Introducing Majorana 1, the world's first quantum processor powered by topological qubits. A machine that could redefine computation as we know it. It's over for the competition, even with DARPA joining in. This is huge, but what makes Majorana 1 so different? And how close are we to a practical, fault-tolerant quantum computer? Let's dive in. For years, the quantum race has been dominated by two major approaches. Superconducting qubits used by companies like IBM and Google, and trapped ions favored by IonQ. These systems, while groundbreaking, face a major hurdle. They require complex error correction due to their extreme sensitivity to noise and environmental interference, making large-scale quantum computing incredibly difficult. Microsoft, however, has taken a radically different approach. Instead of fighting against quantum instability, they've designed a system inherently resistant to errors, one built on a groundbreaking material called a topoconductor. This innovation allows Microsoft to create topological qubits, a type of quantum bit that stores information in a fundamentally stable way. The key to Microsoft's innovation? A strange and elusive quasi-particle known as a Majorana Zero Mode. MZM, a particle so bizarre it's been described as its own antiparticle. Let's break down the key innovations behind Majorana 1. Topological qubits and Majorana zero modes. At the heart of Microsoft's approach lies the use of Majorana zero modes, MZMs, exotic quasi-particles with a unique property. They naturally protect quantum information. Think of conventional qubits as delicate flowers, easily disturbed by the slightest breeze. These topological qubits, however, are more like sturdy oaks, Instead of representing data in a fragile state, they encode it in the parity of electrons, essentially whether there's an even or odd number. This makes them far more resistant to external noise and interference. As Microsoft explains, MZMs are the building blocks of our qubits, storing quantum information through parity, whether the wire contains an even or odd number of electrons. This clever design allows Majorana 1 to sidestep the complex error correction that plagues other quantum computers. 2. Hardware-protected qubits. One of the biggest hurdles in quantum computing is decoherence, the frustrating tendency for quantum states to collapse due to the slightest environmental interference. To better understand this, imagine trying to balance a spinning top on a tightrope. That's how fragile conventional qubits can be. Microsoft's topological qubits, however, offer a natural built-in solution. Here's the clever trick. An unpaired electron is shared between a pair of Majorana zero modes. Think of it like hiding a secret message inside a locked box, which itself is hidden inside another locked box. This ingenious setup effectively shields the quantum state from the disruptive environment. This unique property provides inherent protection against noise, significantly reducing the need for the complex and intensive error correction that other quantum computers require. The result? Qubits that remain stable for much longer periods, making large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computing a much more realistic prospect. In Microsoft's words, here, an unpaired electron is shared between a pair of MZMs, making it invisible to the environment. This unique property protects the quantum information. Third, digital precision and measurement-based quantum computing. Traditional quantum computers often rely on complex analog control signals, which can be a source of errors and instability. Majorana 1 takes a radically different approach. It performs calculations entirely through digital measurements. This seemingly simple change is a game changer for several reasons. First, it dramatically simplifies error correction. Instead of delicate analog adjustments, error correction in Majorana, one is performed entirely through measurements activated by simple digital pulses. These pulses connect and disconnect quantum dots from nanowires, a process that's far more precise and less prone to errors. Second, qubit connectivity is also controlled via these digital pulses, not fragile analog signals. This makes the system more robust and reliable. Finally, this digital approach makes scaling up to large qubit systems much more practical. The engineering complexity of quantum error correction, QEC, is significantly reduced, bringing Microsoft closer to the ultimate goal, a scalable, fault-tolerant quantum machine. This measurement-based approach simplifies QEC dramatically. The road to one million qubits. Microsoft's vision is crystal clear. A million qubit quantum computer on a single chip. To achieve this monumental goal, they've laid out a structured roadmap, 
breaking down the challenge into manageable steps. First, they're focusing on perfecting single qubit devices, which they call tetrons, the very foundation of their topological qubits. Then, they'll move on to building multi-qubit arrays, enabling entanglement and braiding transformations, essential operations for complex quantum computations. Next, they'll develop advanced error correction techniques, creating custom QEC codes that aim to reduce error correction overhead tenfold. Finally, they'll focus on scalability testing, transitioning from small-scale prototypes to the million qubit architectures they envision. And this isn't just theoretical planning. Microsoft has already demonstrated significant progress. As they stated, today we hit our second milestone, demonstrating the world's first topological qubit. And we've already placed eight topological qubits on a chip designed to house one million. This highlights their commitment to building a scalable system. They've already placed eight topological qubits on a chip designed to scale to one million. This roadmap, combined with their tangible progress, underscores Microsoft's determination to lead the charge towards a fault-tolerant million qubit quantum future. Five, DARPA's giving Microsoft a big thumbs up. Okay, so it's not just Microsoft saying this is a big deal. DARPA, you know, the guys who basically dream up the future for the U.S. military, they're all in on this too. They've picked Microsoft for the final round of their US 2QC program. That's a huge deal. Basically what that means is DARPA thinks Microsoft's approach is the real deal. They see it as a serious contender for building those massive game-changing quantum computers we've all been waiting for. And here's the kicker. They're not talking decades anymore. DARPA's pushing Microsoft to build a working prototype in years. Like actual soonish years. Think about it. DARPA's endorsement? That's like the ultimate stamp of approval. It's basically saying, yeah, this major round of one thing, it could totally change the game. This isn't just another tech demo. This could be a major turning point in quantum history. So you might be wondering why is this breakthrough so important? Because if Microsoft succeeds, it could unlock solutions to problems that classical computers can't even comprehend. A fully functional million qubit quantum computer could revolutionize material science, designing new superconductors, advanced polymers, and life-saving drugs, transform agriculture, optimizing fertilizers at the molecular level for higher crop yields, revolutionize chemistry and AI, simulating molecular interactions with unprecedented precision. A million qubit quantum computer isn't just a milestone, it's a gateway to solving some of the world's most difficult problems. The quantum future is closer than ever. For years, quantum computing has been stuck in the realm of theory and speculation. But Microsoft's Majorana One signals a shift from scientific discovery to real-world engineering, and with Majorana One, Microsoft is betting that the answer is sooner than you think. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more tech and AI updates.